So you shall discover at the same time as me. The tricky thing is to open up without them being able to walk on it. That's how I make women pant during sex. Yeah, that's... There you go. What is the difference? between erotic and kinky. Erotic, you use a feather. Kinky, you use the whole chicken. Idiou Dannings. Scott Finns again here with uh, some more bearded obscenities. And you'll be happy to know that I've found the most obscene thing in the world. Now, uh, in France, there's a debate about euthanasia. <laughs> euthanasia yeah killing people when they are sick or nearly dead or whatever um, so this lady she went on TV to say that no we should not have the law force doctors to kill people if they want to die because one thing is the right to live and and you know you, you can do whatever you want with your life something else is to force a doctor to kill someone off uh, and her argument was, when you get diagnosed with an incurable disease, you should jump off a bridge. Eh bien, vous pouvez très bien vous suicider. Voilà, mais on n'a pas à exiger que dans la loi... You know, you should kill yourself, basically. And not bother anybody else with, um, with your, I don't know, life. Yeah, so that was the thing. And it's one of the rare things that really made me react. Like, I want to insult this woman in public and how fucking stupid can you be um yeah so she says well if you can you can commit suicide of course like uh, it's obvious you should just fucking kill yourself if someone diagnoses you uh with an incurable disease she didn't think you know if you are eight and you get that if you should jump off a bridge or whatever you know she didn't think about any of that and i made a song saying okay well you know, just jump off the fucking bridge and don't bother anybody else. And if when you jump off the bridge, try and land on land, because that's why you land. Try and smash your face against the concrete because that's easier to clean. And don't miss it, because if you miss it, you have to grab you and take you to the hospital. And we need the beds. We need the beds for sick people who can get better. Because if you're gonna die anyway, just jump off the fucking bridge. And don't jump in the water because you'll probably pollute it with all the shit you eat. You'll probably, you know, make the fish sick. And then someone has to go in and find you. It's a whole big mess. So if you're a patriot, just die. Die. And that's what she said, that lady. So the song is basically that. Uh, if you are sick, it, while you're still in good health, because you might be dying, you might be dying, but you're not dead yet. So if you can have, if you have enough strength to go to a bridge, uh, jump off the bridge or a high building, or get someone to push you. But then, that will be euthanasia. Ha ha ha. No, no, no. So tampon, so tampon, so tampon, pon, pon, si t'es malade, t'es incurable, so tampon, ne fais pas chier. I don't know how long people will be talking about this, but uh, I thought I would immortalize, immortalize, posteriority this moment for everybody to enjoy. That's it, darlings. So I hope you enjoy this. And if you have someone doing the same in America, tell me and I'll make a song in English to go with their clip. Vise l'asphalte C'est plus facile à nettoyer C'est patriote De mourir vite Saute d'un pont, saute d'un pont Saute d'un pont, pont, pont And today it was particularly nice. So here, just by my feet, we have four miniature turds from Lutin. 
Da ist wie ein Trandelo Film mit meinem Alter. So, four. That's in the team going in. So, four little turds from the team. It's a one little turd. Next, we have a little barf right here. Right? So, this is just a little uh, barf because they barf sometimes. That's for one of the things you barf. Who's this accent? I don't know. I don't remember whose accent this is, but it's just coming out today because I just got up out of bed. So this is one accent. So here we have some some other barf. And this barf, can you see the barf? Probably see the barf. So this barf, I don't know what this barf is. It is red. It looks like uh, some um, dog food. Barf. So we step over that little barf and we have another little barf. There you go, another little barf. So that's another little barf. And now, my knee, he was, he was having, uh, insp he was inspired, so he did another little barf right here. So, because he slept on the couch, and I think he didn't bother to, you know, he's complaining already, bastard. So he said, oh, a little barf. And then you think she said, oh, <laughs> with all this barf, I need to take a leak. So she pissed here. But then, you know, it wasn't, she was not done yet, so she pissed here as well. And now there's this. Right, so there we go. It's a very nice, very nice waking up. You go downstairs, you get all the loving from your dogs, and there's shit, piss, and barf. And it's probably some sweat as well. So there you go, darlings. I hope you have a good day, and I shall now clean this up. Thank you. That's a little sexist joke for you. <laughs> this is so bad. What's the difference between a woman with her period and a terrorist? You can negotiate with a terrorist. Saut <laughs> tampon. Euthanasie jamais.